Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Diddy, born to be free of course cool t-shirt you can buy them in our shop at the bitcoinfamily.com also the indicators and everything else that i'm talking about in this video guys uh, short ta update as this wednesday i promise you to do a monday wednesday and it's mostly a friday ta update this one will be about four hour chart i'm zooming a little bit out to the one day chart and then i will jump into a couple of charts that you really need to see and the last chart is the most important thing about bitcoin that everyone should start to understand right now now let's quickly jump into the first chart over bam here yes that's the mini me again there down below the mini born to be free diddy now uh, now let's go into this four hour chart guys this four hour chart on the bam bam indicator it's on trading view we can see that we had a beautiful long and bam bam indicator is talk is calling a short now now is this the moment that you need to take that short the short you can take your profit over there you can also sit out and wait till the candle closes down below the yellow stepping line. The green is declining in the bottom, but still we are not seeing blue or yellow. The white line is at a high level of 74, but we can go all the way up to 90 levels. The blue line is like a little bit down below the white line, but the white line starts to point up a little bit. It's not pointing downward. So this is a doubtful exit. You can exit and take profit. Profit is profit or you stay in and you expect Bitcoin to bounce from the yellow stepping line and even go higher to those levels of resistance um, around 28K. That is your own decision. The indicator is only telling you when to long and when to short and when to take profits is your decision. Or you can be happy with the profit you have or you can sit in and wait for the stepping line to go up and a candle closing down below that stepping line and then take a little bit less profit but still have the chance to make more profit in that upward move that we are still in. That's how you do it. Now, if you want to trade all of this in the Bam Bam Indicator, you visit the bitcoinfamily.com uh, to get access to the Bam Bam Indicator. And if you want to trade it, you click the links down below the video uh, and you will find access uh, to this beautiful uh, personal landing page on Bybit where you can see what kind of bonus you get and what kind of rewards you get if you sign up using my link. $30 just signing up. 30 k depending on how much you deposit and 0% spot trading fees which means you can trade without paying fees spot beautiful now let's zoom out um, we are zooming out now to this um, one day chart hmm. on the one day chart you can see that it was a massive move like a massive move for bitcoin and um, it's green candles all the way up all the way up to 26,500 even it's like the highest highest level this year now, I tweeted already, we need to stay and close these candles above 25K. And we are at 24,800-ish now, so we find a little bit of resistance. And the resistance is coming from the left side over there. We can see that orange line, and it was also a resistance over here. And this period, you see a lot of candles touching that line, not breaking it before we broke it. Here again, it was resistance. We couldn't break it. We fell down. Again, we came up again against the line, again here around the line, and now again around the line. So that is an important level at the moment. Am I confident that we are going to break this? I have a lot of bullish momentum in my mind at the moment that we could all the way go to 28k as we as long as we stay above these levels everything is fine we had a bank crash bitcoin is still performing a lot of people start to understand it and there is something way more important that i will discuss in the next couple of charts so for me uh, the 50 day moving average pointing up again uh, the 200 starts to point up again all looking pretty nice to me does it mean I'm bullish all the way up to 60, 100K now? No, I'm bullish to 28K. And then we see again what happens over there. But I'm zooming out. I'm buying Bitcoins at every dip. And I just keep hodling till the halving and then all the way till the top. And around the top, we will collectively as a community start to sell a little bit and take profits in US dollar tether. We are not going to the banks, not back into euros or dollars. I'm going to tell you why in the next couple of sheets. Now, um, the next charts that I want to share with you you guys are um, these charts over here bam this is the first one and um, this one a very important one this one is showing you the difference between uh, a traditional transfer and a blockchain based transfer in a traditional transfer you want to send money to her for services or just 
for her birthday. Uh, that money goes to your bank and probably to another in intermediate bank and another bank and the central bank needs to control all that shit and then at the end it will arrive at your destination, your girlfriend. Now, in blockchain-based transfers, you are sending directly to your girlfriend. There is no intermediaries. That is the thing that is important, the difference between using a bank or using the blockchain Bitcoin for sending value. Now, if we uh, zoom a little bit more out, then we can see the difference between centralized and decentralized when it comes to uh, doing business as well. Because when we are doing business, we have the same effect. Or we all depend on a centralized bank, the central bank, that has one ledger, and every transaction from card goes to the bank, from the shop goes to the bank, from the bank goes to the bank, and it's all registered in that centralized ledger that is um, kind of cheating because they don't count the real money out there, they just count 10% and the rest they use to lend each other and to make more money for the rich. Uh, and the opposite is the decentralized way where the shop through a smart contract is directly being uh, handled by a debit card, a Bitcoin debit card or a store directly to a bank if a bank would be smart to use a decentralized ledger as well. And then these ledgers would all be connected to each other and all be uh, kept stable in a way that you can always see what happened in the full ledger um, all over the world with all the transactions with any centralized entity having access or the ability to change that ledger as that ledger is kept safe because it's decentralized. Now the same thing, bam, over here we now have in exchanges in Bitcoin and in the crypto industry. Uh, I didn't want to use currencies, there are some currencies on the back. Currencies that you can see on this chart are not like, oh that's my portfolio, um, of course I do have Bitcoin um, and of course yes I do also have Ethereum and of course I also have some Monero and of course I also have some Litecoin and uh, probably still some Dash in an old wallet, yes, but that's not the reason. The reason is we have a centralized exchange and we have a decentralized exchange. The centralized exchange is this gray here and all these other colorful things are the currencies. If you buy a currency on a centralized exchange, that currency is always um, through that centralized exchange. So in a centralized exchange, it is always every currency goes into the exchange and from the exchange is being exchanged into a new currency. So there's always a step in between, this intermediary. That's a centralized exchange. It's kind of the same the customer paying the bank and the bank paying the shop. Now, customer to the bank and to the shop. In a decentralized exchange, it's different. All of these connections are direct, from Bitcoin to Ethereum, you can exchange direct, or from Bitcoin to any other coin, you can exchange them directly. So it's directly exchanging without an intermediary. That's the difference between centralized and decentralized exchanges. Till now, we've been always using decentralized exchanges like Binance, like also Bybit, um, like Kraken. These are the big exchanges out there that really did good for the industry. but. I feel that we are slowly moving into decentralized exchanges. And for me, this decentralized exchange is the exchange you should be on at the moment. It's called Apex, Apex Pro. Uh, you can also trade with leverage and all that stuff. Uh, I think this is going to be a huge decentralized exchange in the next bull run. And why? People are slowly understanding the difference now between centralized entities and decentralized entities and also centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges and this is the biggest advantage of apex above centralized exchanges because if you look at apex uh, yes it is non-kyc non-custodial so you don't need to send your coins into an exchange to be able to trade them, you can keep them in their own in your own wallet to be able to trade it. It's secure, it's high performance and it's privacy preserving. So it has a lot of green dust over there. If you can if you if you if you compare it to automated market making exchange, like for example Uniswap or a centralized exchange like for example Binance. So this one I think you should be going to that one as well. So use the link down below to get some extra bonus and, and just try it out. Try it out how you can assign your ledger to an exchange without sending your tokens and being able to be trading from your own wallet. That's the power of decentralized trading in exchanges and um, you will never be losing your tokens because a bank fucks up or an exchange fucks up. Okay, now, now we go into the most important part of the video, I think, um, I think this one you will really like, this is this BAM image over here.
because people still don't understand fully why Bitcoin is uh, way more important than just being being a store of value or being a peer-to-peer -peer cash. There is something that people don't see and they could see if they just take the time to read all of this. All of these assets over here, land and real estate, gold, oil and equities, all of these are being defended with human lives. Human lives are being spilled because we need to defend lands or real estate by wars. We need to defend gold by creating wars to find more gold in other countries or oil. Yeah, like we knew what happened in all Iraq and Iran and all that stuff. Wars about oil, wars about gold, wars about land, wars about um, parts of a country like we see now in Russia um, and Ukraine. Um, all of these are defended with human lives, protected and defended with the military and the rule of law. Bitcoin is completely on the other side. It is protected and defended with electricity and code. So by transposing the monetary premiums into cyberspace using a digital synthetic commodity called Satoshis, you replace the cost of human life with the cost of an electricity bill for defending our wealth. So in both cases, you do the same. We are defending our wealth, but in one case, it is costing human lives, and in the other case, it's costing electricity that we can already make so green that we can use the sun, that we can use the wind, that we can use everything that is of creating free electricity already to defend your wealth. We don't need to defend wealth by sacrificing human lives anymore because we can use something that is built with code and uses electricity that we can get for free. So why would we still waste human lives to defend monetized wealth if we can defend it with uh, just a single watt of electricity? I think that is something that people really don't get yet and people should be starting to get. Bitcoin is bigger than just uh, store of value. Bitcoin is bigger than just peer-to-peer -peer transfers in cash. Bitcoin is bigger than all of that because it's saving lives in a way that not one asset has ever done before. And it can't be disrupted. It can't be confiscated. It can't be hacked. It can't be changed. We as a community have, we as a community have full control on the new monetary system that we are building without that anybody needs to die. That's why we are born to be free, because we are so intelligent to build stuff like that, because we don't want to sacrifice lives for money anymore, because it's not necessary anymore. That is what the biggest message for Bitcoin is. Now, so if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about all of this? And especially, what do you think about this last chart? Because I think that is a very important one. And also, if you want to sign up to Apex, please use the link down below my videos. Also, to buy a bit, please use the link down below my videos. In that way, I still earn a little bit for all the free work that I'm doing and creating all these videos every day for you guys out there. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam.